upgrade available. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Oh, my god! They came out of nowhere! There was a huge earthquake and then and then there was burning in my yard! Didn't you hear about it? It's all over the news. Here, look! And that a large earthquake and several fires in the South Park area last night woke many residents from their sleep. Here with the report is a midget in a bikini. Tom, government workers here are assuring everyone nothing out of the ordinary has happened. They claim that the only reason huge tents have gone up to cover this area is to mask the construction of a new Taco Bell, which will open <laughs> sometime later this month. A Thanks, midget. Bell. I do love me some Taco Bell. The mayor of South Park states that last night's tremors and fires are under control and that hopefully schools and businesses can open again soon. It's horrible. You don't understand. The elves, they took the stick. And it's bullshit because that is totally cheating. We specifically said no trying to take the stick at night. Elves are dirty little liars, and we have to lay waste to their entire base. You have some incredible ability to make friends quickly, Sir Douchebag. I'm sending you on a quest to go out into the lands of Zaron and recruit a whole nother faction to Koopa Keep. Find the goth kids and give them this letter. Get them to join our kingdom, and we shall lay waste to the drow elves wanted for all. Fucking cheaters. Oh, no, Mom. Um. Who's that? I think it's that new kid people are talking about. Beat it, new kid. This area is strictly for goth kids. What's this? Join the kingdom of Koopa Keep to battle the wicked elves. All recruits welcome. Sorry, Frodo. We don't play Dungeons and Douchebags. Yeah, beat it, new kid. Aw, oh, come on. Let's do it. We never do anything. No way. We can't do what this kid asks us to do. He's a conformist. Look at his clothes and his hair. Yeah, I'll tell you what, new kid. Get the right clothes and some cigarettes and coffee and then talk to us again. Yeah, if you want to prove you aren't a conformist, then you need to look exactly like we do. Then maybe we'll consider hanging out with you. Get lost, kid. We're trying to smoke here. What if we just make friends instead? in humanity every turn.
Oh, Joy, it's Butthole the Barbarian from the Dungeons of Dumbass. You gotta admit, he looks better. Yeah, he's almost a goth. Being goth isn't just how you dress, it's a frame of mind. It's time for you to prove that you go against society's rules. Yeah. There's a big PTA meeting happening right now at the community center. You need to walk right into the middle of that meeting and tape this sign to their table. Yeah, that will prove your individuality. Go on, beat it. And don't come back until you have a picture of that sign taped to the PTA table. Uh, yeah, have fun in there. I think I'll wait it out. It isn't right, I tell you. Out of nowhere, this huge Taco Bell is being built, and now our children are missing precious school time. Parents, we've been assured by the builders that they're working to fix whatever problems they've encountered, and school should be able to resume soon. Resume soon? Who do they think they are? They think we're going to see a, a Taco Bell as being more important than our kids' educations? What if it's not really a Taco Bell we're dealing with? Thanks for coming, new kid. Everyone, this is the kid whose family just moved to town. We've become very close friends. His name is... What's your name? Well, anyway, this child and I witnessed something last night, and I'd like you to hear his story. Go ahead, kid. Tell them, you know, about all the... Go ahead, tell them, tell them that stuff. This is a waste of everyone's time. If the PTA isn't gonna do something about Taco Bell taking over, then the rest of us parents will. Come, Come on, let's yeah. go! Come on! Look, I know how you're feeling, okay? But this isn't gonna solve anything. We've got to get inside that Taco Bell and find out what's really going on. Help me with that, and I'll help you with this. I saw you on the ship. You have pretty good control over your farts. Meet me in the bathroom. Oh, no. It's time for you to learn some real power. Oh, this is what you're talking about. I can tell you have potential, but you are undisciplined. Let me show you what I mean. Come out. Yeah. Try and fart on me. Come on. Oh. Kia! You call that farting on someone? You missed by a mile. Try again! Hey, Kia! What? You call that farting on someone? You missed by a mile. Try again! <laughs> Hi, Cha! See that? Your fart's over there somewhere. Didn't come close. So, what do you do Can when people can block your farts? Like so. You must learn. To control your farts to move and release at a specific time and place, <laughs> I'm going to teach you a fart called the Sneaky Squeaker. Uh -huh. It will become your greatest ally. Don't believe me? Try and block my attack. Yeah, it works once. <laughs> oh. You see that? I distracted you. Distracting your opponents is key to battle. Look, let me show you again. Pay special attention to the viscosity. Okay, you try. Make your fart detonate behind me. Oh, hey, guys. Oh, no. oh, Mr. Mackey? Now it's your turn. Use Sneaky Squeaker to distract Mr. Mackey over to the corner there. Hey, did you guys hear that? Sounded like a chipmunk. Oh my god. Very, very good. Now use what I taught you to sneak inside that Taco Bell. Find out what they're up to and report back here. And no matter what happens, never fart on anyone's balls. You got that? All right. Got it. Now go. All right. Do you talk about? 